Hi, Dave Kanicki here with the Farm Equipment Editor's blog for May 29, 2012. Are the burger makers taking their lead from the farm equipment makers? Probably not, but it's interesting to read about both sides of the debate when it comes to multi-store locations. In the April 17th issue of this newsletter, we reported on the growth of big farm equipment dealers in North America. Ag Equipment Intelligence had just released its 2012 Big Dealer Report that showed that 187 dealership groups own five or more ag equipment stores. That's up from 151 in 2009. Based on the research by Ag Equipment Intelligence and Curry Management Consultants, 59% of John Deere dealerships are operated by groups of five or more stores. 37% of Case IH dealerships are operated by big dealers. 24% of ACO dealerships are owned by dealer principals with five or more locations. 14% of New Holland dealerships operate five or more stores. And 9% of Kubota dealers fall into the big dealer group. This past year, we also counted 16 dealership groups that operate at least 15 locations. Together, these 16 dealers owned 499 total locations, both AG and CE, and 368 farm equipment stores, or, on a, or an average of 23 per dealer group. The reason the burger makers are mentioned at the top of this column is because a May 21st report in the Wall Street Journal focused on how McDonald's, Burger King, and other food franchisers are pushing for their franchisees to get bigger. That sound familiar? Here are some of the facts about multi-unit restaurants according to the Wall Street Journal report. When it comes to the number of franchises, single food store owners operate 38,390. Multi-unit food owners operate 21,515. The number of units owned by the single food unit owners is 38,390. This compares with the multi-unit food restaurant owners at 122,882. The percent of total units owned by the single food store owners is 23.8% as opposed to 76.2% that are owned by multi food store owners. It doesn't take a mathematician to see the dealer segment of the farm equipment industry is on the same path. Today the average McDonald's franchise owns more than six locations up from three 15 years ago. Regarding its smaller operators, McDonald's says, we will always have operators that own one or two restaurants. They are a very important part of our business. We always strive to grow our existing owner-operators into larger organizations. The report goes on to say, still most chains say they're actively seeking big players. The arguments for and against multi-store food franchises are very similar to the ones we've heard in the farm equipment business, such as customer service suffers as dealerships grow in the number of stores they operate, versus single stores and smaller dealerships that don't have the resources to provide the services that farmers need today. And of course, the list of, uh, excuse me, and of course, the list of arguments on both sides goes on and on. Both sides have convincing arguments, I suppose, and there's no comparison when it comes to choosing a dealership to work with or what burger you're going to have for lunch. But it seems to me, regardless of how big a business gets, there's always an opportunity for the smaller guy if he can set himself apart from the chain stores he's competing against. For example, except for an occasional breakfast sandwich when I'm on the road or to use the restroom, I haven't stopped at a McDonald's or Burger King for several years. Seems to me the quality of their food, service, and facilities has diminished as these chains got bigger. There's another chain called Culver's that offers a better menu, better service, and much nicer facilities. They're much smaller than the national chains and their food costs a little more. Given the choice, guess where I'm stopping. From my experience, getting bigger seldom equates with getting better. 
I hope our growing farm equipment dealerships can counter that trend and eliminate the perception created by their burger chain colleagues. Thanks for checking in, and I'll talk to you next time.